Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious butternut squash lasagna. What's wonderful about it is I actually use the butternut squash instead of ricotta. So this lasagna, let me just show you right here, it's super amazing, is uh, actually vegan. This was a recipe I did for Whole Foods, and I think you will really like it. So let's get to making it. So the first thing that we're gonna do with this recipe is roast the butternut squash. But before I get into that, Here's a little fun fact. If you love pumpkin pie, you might be surprised to learn that there's actually not any pumpkin in it. Um, well, maybe some pumpkin pies have pumpkin in it, but most canned pumpkin that's sold in the United States is actually made from a squash that's a relative of the butternut squash and not actual pumpkin. So if you've purchased those sugar pie pumpkins in the grocery store, which is a really misleading name because those are the worst tasting pumpkins ever um, to make a pie with, and they're wondering why it doesn't taste like real pumpkin pie. Well, that's why, because it's not related to the butternut squash. So that's a little fun fact for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trim off these ends. Let's go ahead and, using a vegetable peeler, remove the outer part of this butternut squash. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna use roasted butternut squash in the lasagna, and um, I want it to be the most robust butternut squash flavor I can get. So by removing the peel, more of the moisture is gonna be pulled out when it's roasting, making the flavor much more intense. Then after we peeled it, we're gonna just scoop out the seeds, cut it up into slices and roast it. So now that you've sliced up the butternut squash, we're just gonna line it here on a baking sheet. Um, and we're going to roast it at 425 until it's nice and delicious. So we're just gonna saute some mushrooms. I just added in a little bit of olive oil that I've heated up here. Get these nice and browned. When you're using vegetables in lasagna, um, it's always good to kind of saute them first because you want to remove as much of the water that's in the vegetable as possible. If you don't, it's going to dilute the flavor of the lasagna. So you don't want to reduce the sauce that you're adding to it. So these are almost cooked down and now I'm going to add in our kale and just saute that too. So for this recipe, I'm just going to use a uh, store-bought uh, tomato sauce, which I'm going to add in some chopped garlic and a bunch of fresh basil. So now we're going to take the roasted butternut squash and we're going to mash it. Now that we have the butternut squash ready, uh, we're just going to take it and just kind of smear it on top of our cooked lasagna noodles. By the way, if you want to know how to cook the perfect pasta, and this applies to lasagna noodles, I have a great video on that for you. Now we're gonna add in our sauteed kale and mushrooms. Just a little bit to get more, as many veggies as we possibly can in the lasagna. And now we're just gonna roll it up. Don't use too much pressure. You don't wanna squeeze the, the stuffing out of the noodle. Seriously, how great do these look? So add the rolls to a nine inch uh, square baking dish. Put a little bit of sauce in the bottom for them, about a quarter cup, and go ahead and squeeze in the last roll. They're, they fit in there pretty tightly, but that's okay. And now we're gonna top each one with a little bit of sauce. So just pour it over the top. They don't have to be completely covered. This is a regular marinara sauce that uh, I just hacked with some basil and some, some fresh garlic. I'm just gonna top off with some vegan mozzarella shreds here, because you can never have too much of that on your lasagna. So now we're just gonna throw this in the oven, uh, baking it at 425 for about 30 to 40 minutes until it's nice and bubbly and the uh, cheese is melted and all browned. And now that that's baked, look how delicious this looks. And so when you're ready to serve it, just sprinkle a little chopped up parsley, just, just for a pop of color, a little bit of flavor, and you're good to go. This video is brought to you by Whole Foods Market.